Oh my god, I love this song, Candle of the Wind. I, from when I was a young girl, fourth grade, I loved Princess Diana. Don't ask me why, but she's a wonderful human being, right? You, uh, wonderful soul. I talk in present tense as if she is still alive. But I feel that people, when they pass, their spirits are still there. So, I was very fascinated with her from a very young age. And I remember when they announced her death through the car crash. I think it was in 96. I was in fourth grade, I think. Don't hold me to the dates. Now, she was very different. Why was she very different? She was light. She was the light, I think, in the darkness of that establishment is what it was. The old. And so what happens when you are of light, where you operate from the heart space, right? You reach a massive number of people because you produce this energetic field, this electromagnetic field from the heart space. And that's how she connected to millions of people, right? And so she was a threat because of it. Because through that, she gained, they thought power was what they were thinking. No, it wasn't power, it was love. Love is powerful, but that's not what she was looking for, but, but that's what they thought. Because that whole thing is draconian. That's what this goes down to. Uh, and I believe she was light source, maybe even earth angel. Um, kids went to her, everybody loved her. And so that becomes a threat when all the attention is on you and you have no, no other hidden agenda. And you have no other hidden agenda. And so it's like, you know, it, it becomes very questionable. It becomes questionable for people who operate from any other space that is not love, is what it is. And so what I think happened was because of that and because she knew that one of the princes there right was involved in the child uh, sex trafficking she found that out that's what the, that's what this was all about and that's why they targeted her because it would blow everything everything out of proportion and she was not there though to destroy anything but because of that they're like we gotta get rid of her what really 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 made me sad was all her life she wasn't happy nobody understood her like deep with it even before the engagement to the prince she had asked her sisters, everybody, I'm not sure, this, you know, she had hesitated because, and she wanted confirmation from somebody, but nobody would. And so in a time where she was wanting a confidant or somebody to talk to, as much as she was known, she couldn't find anybody that could help her in that moment of her distress. She couldn't. And that's what makes me sad. And the thing of, of all of this is, that the moment she found her true happiness in the end they took it away from her that's what really 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 upset me but and you know the affair that was going on is you know the lady who was having an affair with her husband said to her well you have the world the whole world is yours so if i have your husband what is the big deal kind of thing and that's where i was like that's those are the manipulators those are the ones who are not a light source they're all dark they're here to bring you down, is what it is. But she was strong enough, and she continued. And that's how you have to be, but you still have to be.